Hey, Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent, investigative journalist for the city of New York, and expanding worldwide someday. <laughs> Here is, um, I want to talk about uh, what controlled opposition is, okay? It's something that, that I have uh, been talking about uh, frequently, how, I'll read you, let me read you something. Controlled opposition, this is from one of the the many research tools at our disposal. Uh, I Google this on um, Urban Dictionary. It says, controlled opposition. Controlled opposition is a protest movement that is actually being led by government agents. Nearly all governments in history have employed the technique to trick and subdue their adversaries. Notably, Vladimir Lenin, who said, <clears throat> the best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves. So, okay, so the union, the, the union movement in America, I'm no expert on unions, but the union movement was, a, uh, you know, a movement amongst working people who came to the country and they uh, wanted, you know, fair, fair wage, fair work conditions. Uh, they wanted a living wage and they fought and they unionized and they spoke up together because together we're stronger, right? So, that's the function of a functioning union. So at DSNY, what you have instead is is uh, CWA used to be the union. It was big and it was arguably very very corrupt and and in, impotent in many ways. However, there was a union with the real union hall and real people that you can go down there and scream in their face. But what it's been replaced with is this Lee Buzz, Kenneth Wider Jr. Is, where is he? He's over here. There he is. <laughs> right? So this guy, he's the, he is Liba. Right? When you go to the site, there's Liba. How do, here's, I want to play a, a video of somebody. This guy, there's a video on YouTube. It's called uh, Liba Fraud. So let, let's just watch this for one second, see who this guy is. Good morning. I'm Private Investigator Manuel Gomez. I'm with Black Ops Private Investigators. I'm also a former counterintelligence officer for the U.S. Army and a former NYPD officer. I've been hired by CWA 1182 Union to conduct an investigation into a union called LEBA, L-E-E-B-A, to see if they were an actual real union and to find out um, what was going on with them. Okay, so right away we, we find out that he's hired, okay? He's being honest. I don't know who the guy is. We're going to find out who he is. Right. He's, uh, he reads off his qualification. Who cares, right? He's, he's doing an investigation into LIBA, right, to find out if they're real or not, right? So he tells you his name, Manuel Gomez, and he tells you that he's hired by CWA to do the investigation. So there's no surprise. He's not some secret agent. He's not some hack. Uh, well, maybe he is a hack, but who knows? But he's going he's gonna to do an investigation for us. We're going to find out a little bit about LIBA through this guy. So let's see what else. Uh, during my investigation, which started approximately April uh, 2016, I uncovered the fact that the LIBA organization's offices don't exist. All right, time now is 12.05. Today is April 16th. This is Pride Investigator Manuel Gomez with Black Ops Pride Investigators. I am right now in front of 277 Main Street, which is supposed to be the building of the Law Enforcement Employees Benevolent Association. As you see right there in front, the sign is gone in the middle of the building. So that's pretty powerful. He he goes he goes he follows the address and there's nobody there. It's a it's a it's a plaque on a wall. It's a it's a fucking store sign with nobody inside. All right, that's Libra. Right, so let's see what else he says. So then I found that they had another address located on 80 Broad Street in Manhattan. When I went to the 80 Broad Street Manhattan office to see if Lieber was there as well, um, what I found was a room with one chair and a whole lot of boxes and a dusty desk. No one was there. A room, a chair, and, and, a, and a bunch of boxes, dusty desk. I, I'll one up him. I went there, I got a locked door. <laughs> so. This is not a union. It's not a fucking union. It's a guy. It's a it's controlled opposition. The guy's in bed with the city. Right, let's see what else. Keep going. I like this guy. I like Manuel Gomez. Thanks.
I also found out during my investigation that the, Depart uh, the U.S. Department of Labor is currently auditing LIBA for misappropriation of funds, for financial misconduct, and for other nefarious things that they were involved in. My investigation also revealed into LIBA another pending lawsuit, a class action lawsuit filed by the police up in the Catskills. What I found in this lawsuit is, is that not only are they being sued for the nefarious activities and for the corruption regarding Libra, but they're also being sued for other things, such as there is no election process for Libra. Mr. Winder was never elected. Nobody voted him in. There's no, there's no process of bylaw protocol. The members don't have any involvement in this system. I mean, these are some of the crooked things that are stated in this lawsuit. So if nothing else, you listen to the last part of what he's saying is that that there's no bylaws, there's no elections, there's no functioning union hall. Uh, as far as the things he was talking about, you know, that there's pending allegations, I believe in, you know, you're innocent till proven guilty. And those are just allegations that doesn't matter. But the, the, what he's revealing to you is that his, you know, you don't have to be a rocket science to go knock on a door and see that there's nobody in there. Or go and say, oh, shit, there's a false, you know, there's a false sign, controlled opposition. So, again, most important thing is that, that there, it's, it's not a union, it's a guy. Right. Continue. CWA 1182 votes the president in. CWA 1182 board of directors make the decisions together. In Libra, there is none of that. Another thing that I found out um, is Libra's inability to negotiate a contract. Due to the fact that Libra has almost no membership, they have no political power. 1182 has thousands of members, which makes it a political force. And the congressmen and councilmen in the mayor's office look at that because these are all potential voters. And it gives 1182 power to negotiate for its members. Libra does not have that same power. So here he's doing a little shilling for the for CWA. Okay, so he's paid by CWA, and now he's going to suggest that CWA is better than LIBA. At this point, I don't even care. Who cares, you know? Who cares? Let's see what else he has to say, because that's not the point of... The, the, the point is not that CWA is better. It's that the point is that LIBA is not a union. It's not, uh, it's not a fair representation of... Uh, of what it claims to be. That's the most important thing. Libra one, just collects dues. Two, nothing gets done. Three, when they collect the dues, the membership loses benefits and then the dues goes even higher. Libra is a sham. So, I mean, again, he's this guy is clearly, you know, he's bashing Libra for a for a client okay but but what he revealed was was very important that that's all i'm saying that's the the whole point of this is who is kenneth wine weiner jr and how did he get a how did he get himself in that position to 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 take over the the membership at dsny that's the thing you have to look at because i guarantee if you look my sources tell me and conti has sources is that He's he's a guy who came along and he's gonna he's negotiating, uh, he's negotiating your contract without your voice. Nobody even knows who where the guy is. You can't get the guy on the phone. Nobody knows anything. The city knows everything. So that, again, that look, look, that's all, that's all, that's all on Libra. I'll I'll leave you guys alone. You know, you want to hang yourselves. You know, just go around and keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a good job, man. Peace out.